So I say all that, that just my morning, um, I started by forgetting the communion bread, and then I brought the communion bread in. I forgot the grape juice, uh, so I had to go get the grape juice. And, and all of a sudden, Amber Lee said, do we have a video clip, which I did not have a video clip for faith clips. That just seems wrong. So it's been that kind of a morning, and I apologize for all the uh, things. And And Tony, the name badge you were looking for was in the hymnal reminding me to talk about name badges later on. But other than that, everything's going great. Amen? Today we do talk about faith clips. And I have to be honest with you, I didn't know how this was going to turn out. It was a step in faith um, uh, to ask you all to make videos last week. And um, last uh, by Monday morning, I had one video, and I was really kind of getting nervous, but it turned out wonderfully. So last week, we talked about uh, new and vibrant hope in Christ. Do you remember we had that conversation, a hope that It takes us beyond what we see into God's future for us all. Well, today, we want to take the next step. We want to have faith that that is going to happen. As we heard, faith is the assurance of things hoped for. Our new vibrant hope in our future happens when we have faith. Today, We're going to do something different. I wonder how many times I've said that in 15 years. (laughs) We are going to experience or to hear God from our family instead of from me. Romans 10, 17 says this, faith comes from what that, from what is heard. And what is heard comes through the word of Christ. Well, today our faith clips from our family We're going to have an opportunity to hear and maybe even have a glimpse glimpse of what faith is all about. Let's pray. God, as we uh, enter into this time together, uh, let us recognize your uh, presence and your peace, especially me (laughs) this morning, but all of us, that the things that have happened in our lives, the losses that we've suffered, all of that we put back into your hands, Lord, because we do want to have faith. And we do have hope in our future when we have that faith in you. So help us today as we hear about your presence, the presence of your spirit that we always ask for, but today to recognize the work of your spirit through faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, Um, The very first thing I got was a picture, and it was a picture of this group. I received this photo this week from Sarah Beth, and this is when their Sunday school got together with Elena, who's probably online right now, but when they got together for her birthday. Elena is not able to come to worship anymore in person, but she listens each week. This day is a day in faith, as Dawn describes in her faith clip that we'll watch now. I believe that faith is meant to be lived in community. Because of our communities, whether it's our families, our church family, our small group, our friends, um, all work together to grow our faith. I think of the times that I have had a small group that has especially helped me grow and learn. I think of the Girls on Fire here at First Church and how much I have been encouraged and loved and strengthened and shown the face of Christ. I think of Ezra and the times that his openness and honest, simple faith shows love. I read a few years ago the concept instead of WWJD meaning what would Jesus do instead watch what Jesus does be expectant be excited and be faith filled that he will do wonderful things in this world he will take care of you and he will love you forever what Jesus does 
is a woman's study, Sunday school, and women of deep faith finding a way to be family together, as we saw in that picture today. Amen? 2 Corinthians 5, 6 says, So we are always confident, even though we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Faith can be miraculous, as Clint, our lay leader, shares with us in this clip. this. If you could, I promise I won't talk in the middle of the videos anymore. If you, if you are having trouble with that step in faith, all you need to do is exactly what Clint had on the back of his shirt. Psalm 145, 18. The Lord is near to all who call him, to all who call on him in truth, as Clint gladly shares. We also learn about faith, that faith is the witness of others. Sometimes right in our family, as this clip from Aaron shares. Aaron is blessed to have a father of faith, but, but sometimes faith comes from unexpected places. In Matthew 18, 1, it says, At that time the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And he called a child whom he put among them. And he said, Truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this, like this child, is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes one such as uh, such child in my name welcomes me. I talked about that very verse with our beloved Polly's uh, memorial service yesterday, and how we could learn from Polly what it means to have a childlike faith all of our lives. And it was such a great gift. But today, uh, we have a story from Ezra. Ezra told his grandmother a few weeks ago that he wanted to come to big church. So she told him he, could, he would come, but she would be asking questions about what Pastor Tom would be saying. Well, his first visit two weeks ago was when we talked about new language. And when and when his grandmother asked him about what, was said, what I said, he said, he told us to use kind words. And that was beautiful. But his faith is in the everyday. 
and every moment as well. Let's hear from Ezra. Jesus loves me by helping me get through while riding my skateboard. I didn't know how to, but I tried practicing and practicing. And then one time when I thought I was going to fall, he just helped me through it. Um, the time was 2.15. He, remember I said to make it a minute or two long? And so he, he wanted me to know what time it was. That was great. Maybe... We should stop trying so hard. Maybe just work on being humble like a child instead of our furious determination to make things right. That's where faith succeeds, in humbling ourselves before the Lord. Our faith is not about what we want or desire. It's about God's will being done. Many people, including me, share the first part of Romans often. We say this, we say, we know that all things work together for good for those who love God. But we often miss the importance of the second half, who are called according to God's purpose. We are all called according to God's purpose. The good that we have faith in is all about God. And then we can be confident in what Matthew 21, 22 says. Whatever you ask for in prayer with faith, you will receive in God's way. Here's Ryan sharing some good news. Good morning, First Church. Ryan here from the uh, Thrift Boutique. And I just wanted to share with you how God has been working uh, in the ministry here uh, for quite some time, uh, I would say whew, seven, eight years, uh, we've been in search of, of a new building uh, in an effort to expand uh, the store, potentially to get rid of the warehouse so we didn't have to do as much back and forth and we would have a better uh, grasp of the items that we have all in one location. Well, um, we probably searched every building uh, in the Port Orange area, and uh, every door seemed to seem to be shut. But uh, in the past few weeks, um, the buildings next to us in the same plaza had become available, and uh, we just finished up uh, working a, a deal with the uh, the landlord here. And we will be expanding the Thrift Boutique uh, very soon. Uh, so this is uh, just a great testimony of how God answers uh, 100% of the time uh, with either yes, no, or not yet. Uh, so we're, we're very happy and excited uh, to be expanding uh, and further uh, the ministry uh, at the Thrift Boutique. So praise God. Amen. So, you know, if you know Ryan and you know his heart, this is not just a thrift store. It is a place where we really celebrate ministry together. And, and that's one of the things that was so exciting. Every time somebody needed a piece of furniture, we had to drive over. We, don't you love it when I say we and I'm nowhere near it? We, they had to go over to a warehouse uh, about a mile and a half away and go over and find that piece and sometimes bring it back and show it to people or have it delivered or whatever it took. But it was really cumbersome. And, and we, paid a, a, we paid a good deal for those storage areas. Well, Ryan actually figured out as they were uh, preparing uh, this b new space that the space is actually larger than our three warehouse uh, bin places that we have now. So we got more space, and it's right there. And he is so. And I know our drivers and lifters and everybody else were so excited too. So praise God for that amazing uh, answer to our faithful request. And another example that is of according to God's purpose comes from Hal, our beloved greeter. Hi, I'm Hal Maskeel. Tom wanted us to give a quick statement, I guess, of how God has impacted our lives. 
And there have been a bunch of ways over the years that uh, God has impacted my life. you have seen me through some really, really rough times. Uh, through divorce, through the threat of, threat of financial disaster at times, through a very unhappy uh, job situation from which I retired and uh, moved down here. Uh, and uh, that's been a, a, a blessing. He's blessed me with the chance to be a part of First Church and to do some things there and to get to be a part of this First Church family. Uh, got a beautiful place to live with a, a wonderful view out of the river. I got a job that I love. I got a wife that I love. And it's a, uh, it's really turned out pretty well. Thanks. And we all know the joy of how. Amen. <laughs> Oftentimes our faith sees us through difficulties of being human. Second Corinthians 6, 2 says, at an acceptable time, I've listened to you. And on the day of salvation, I have helped you. See, now is the acceptable time. See, now is the day of salvation. In this next clip, Quint and I were part of God's faith plan. Hi. So, I have experienced faith through many various ways in my life. But I have experienced it very highly just recently through my mom. Uh, my mom was struggling through some things and she's on a, um, she's in ICU right now. And what was awesome was Pastor Tom, he, uh, he walked down the hall and see my mom and he, and he saw me and he saw that I was in tears and he grabbed, he grabbed me and I felt such calmness and love and patience and from that moment on I had realized God was with me even though I was struggling with what was going on with my mom and I believe that that was God showing his presence and his love towards me to let me know I can get through it. And here, Susan's remarkable and continuing story of faith in this clip. Faith along with the prayers and support of my family, my church family, and friends is what I relied on to get me through the stage four esophageal surgery in 2020 and all the months that followed. The cancer has now metastasized to other areas and faith is what I am calling on again as I begin a cancer drug treatment. But you know what? Cancer is not going to steal my faith. Can I get an amen? Mark 5, 34 says, Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. I remember the day I thought I heard Susan's voice for the very last time when she was leaving for her surgery. It was presumed that her surgery would leave her voiceless. But Susan was comfortable and confident in her future through her faith. And when she went to Mayo Clinic, they were able to do more than was thought was possible. And yes, her journey continues, but her faith does as well. This faith is ours to have. Listen again to Hebrews 11. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for. The conviction of things not seen. Indeed, by our faith, our ancestors received approval. And then it says in that third verse, By faith, we understand that the, word, the worlds were prepared by the word of God, so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. 
God's plan from the beginning was that we would have faith. And it doesn't take much. Luke 17, 17, 6 says, Jesus said, if you had the faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. May these words and these clips and these moments be planted, rooted, and grow in each of us. Galatians 2.20 It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Say this with me. I live by faith in the Son of God. I live by faith in the Son of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we go to our time of communion.